working on hip hinges, you're gonna find yourself in front of a wall and step about six inches or so away from the wall. And you want your feet about hip distance apart. We're gonna practice sitting weight into the heels of my feet. So as soon as I do that, my knees are gonna naturally bend. I'm gonna reach my hips back to the wall. You want to avoid arching your back as many people tend to compensate by arching their back to get to the wall or a hip hinge or they bend their knees to try and compensate. And we are working on getting weight towards the heels of the feet. However, the toes stay on the ground, knees gently bend as you reach the hips back, keeping the torso upright. It is gonna come forward, which is why this is a hip hinge and not a back hinge or a knee hinge. We are hinging at the hip. So practice a few times here. When you feel comfortable, walk your feet out literally an inch or two and keep working at it. As you press back, press down into your feet, squeeze your glutes together to stand as we're trying to take the pressure off of your low back structures and use your glutes, your hamstrings to do this really functional movement that can help with picking things off the floor, bending over, lifting, carrying things so we don't have to do it from our back or from our knees.